Welcome to the live stream, everybody. The name is Bullet. Bullet Bam! And I'm here playing some Animal Crossing today. It's 5.30 in the afternoon and I have some mail. We got Knight here as well as Chris right off the bat. It's very awesome. Oop, I meant to read that message from Fuchsia and I'll just close it. Chris, you say you matched with some chick on Tinder and she tried to make you sign up for some stupid website to make sure she is safe. Oh boy, what? Like, no. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. They might be after your monies. Lucas says, and we're back with the chill live stream. Yes, yeah, it's going to be very chill with Animal Crossing. Basically, Bullet, there's a lot in this world you could care about, but the only thing worth caring about is friends. Oh, I don't even have any, so that really hits home. If you don't have folks to hang out with or write letters to, what do you really have? Nothing. Friends of forever. Fuchsia. Thanks, Fuchsia. Making me feel happy. It's okay. It's a choice for me to not really have friends because I don't have time for that crap, man. I don't want people calling me being like, hey, can you hang out? It's like, dude, I hardly got time to hang out with the people I want to hang out with. Hey, boss, perfect timing. I've been thinking about moving out. I feel like I've been going through the motions lately. A big change could be the challenge I need. Wherever I go, I'm going to start a new warrior level training regimen. Haha, <laughs> oh wow, I'm starting to get excited about moving. You can't go, Boone. I haven't seen, I gave you, I gave you a freaking trophy thing. Like there's like a whole shelf full of trophies. I gave him that, and I don't know if he's put it up in his house yet, so you can't go yet, because I need to see if that's in your house. <clears throat> Good. He's gonna stay on the island, because I don't want him to leave. Dude, I feel like there's always fossils buried right here in this spot. This has got to be a hot spot for fossils in my town. Goodness gracious. You two in my chat right now. Maximum inappropriateness. Hey, I thought I updated that flag. I'm pretty sure I did. I just oh, you know what happened? I updated the flag and then when I was gonna go talk to what's her name about it, she was actually outside for some special occasion or something. Yeah, she was outside doing like fireworks, I think. Lucas saying this is a conversation I don't want to be a part of. I agree. Take it to the DMs, Chris and Knight. Alright, so uh the flag. So I have just the regular bullet. There's no more... There's no more bleeding. Sock Island evals. Got a four star rating. Just gonna read an excerpt. Back in my day, the key to a good life was a low reset rate. You feel what I'm getting at? What I'm saying is, this here bulletaria you got going on, this is one sharp locale, got that? Well, there you have it. According to recent feedback, the general sentiment is that the island lacks appealing scenery. Gosh, I've been putting up so much stuff. <sighs> one more thing, really, of another thing. Overabundance of trees, but I got so I got rid of so many trees, Isabel. I got rid of so many. Missing their TV programs because of my trees. You know how many trees I've taken out? You know how many frickin' trees I've taken out, Isabel? You know how wide open the island is now? People loot. Oh, how they even getting connection out here? TV shows. Ah, I'm so angry. I took out so many trees. Look, it's the Zuck. How you doing? Let's talk. Bullet area is the perfect size. Too big to see across, but too small for a monster to come attack. Whatever you say, dude. We got Ribot out here. Oh, Ribot's voice is my favorite. Yo, you could be training. Z -z 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 -z. I want chat, though. I like to do a late cool down before I start up my evening routines. Can't beat it. Z -z 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 -z. Ribot's one of my favorite. I really like Ribot. This island is as wide open as BB's legs on a Saturday night. Wow, what did I do to you, Knight? Such an insult. I am a very classy gentleman, okay? Same goes to you, Chris. You hear you two in the chat? Do you hear what you two are talking about? You're gonna come after me like this? I don't think so. I will not stand for it. I don't care if I'm sitting in a chair. I will not stand for it. Hey, Flick's here. I don't think I have any bugs, though. I just caught that paper kite butterfly. Could sell that to him. Say, oh my god, a robot bunny. Bunny? Really? He's a he's a frog. His name's Ribot. Ribot? And he's a bunny? Oh, because like rabbit, you thought? Nah. It's supposed to be like ribbit. It's 
still a robot? <laughs> yeah. I know. I love him. Worth selling to flick right up there. Knight, you never said that you were classy. I know. But I said I was. So I don't... You don't need to be trying to... You don't need to be trying to say that I share your lifestyle, because I don't. Say, wait, you thought that was a bunny? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the bunny ears were at. <laughs> Christine, shut up. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Man, Flick moved quick. Let's go see what Nook's got. We can sell the fish and stuff like that that I'm walking around with. I think I have everything that he's selling. I've gotten all that stuff before. And then these two things over here, yeesh, I've also had both of those. So I'll just be selling you stuff then, Timmy. What do I have to sell? Well, let me show you. Uh, oh, I never put that shell speaker down. I should. I guess I'll sell the seven conscious, who cares? Natural square table can go. All that stuff. Isn't it great? Here you go. I know you nooks love buying anything you can get your hands on. 15,000 bells sold! <clears throat> you guys just fighting in the chat. <laughs> Explain to me how you knew that, thought that was a bunny. <laughs> I mean, Ribot kind of sounds like Rabbit. I understood. I understood the slip up. All right, let's try to find the rest of these uh, fossils that are hanging around my town somewhere. I didn't really check up there thoroughly. So I need to make sure there's none sitting on that ledge. Oh, there's weeds up there. I'll have to get to those some other time. Pick up the stick that's here too. I don't like having too many sticks just laying around in the town. Gotta keep that grass nice and clean, you know? And a lot of times I pick up shells just because you can actually sell the shells for a decent amount. Let's grab them. Let's grab shells. Violet's here saying, you mama! What about her? Alrighty. Isn't it exciting, picking up shells? It's actually not bad cash. That fish isn't going to be all that great. I could scare it off, try to spawn something else. Hey, look, we got a DIY recipe. I wonder if it's any good. Or if it's something I haven't heard of before. Armor shoes? I haven't heard of those. Armor shoes? So it's like, it, I have armor that I can make, now I have shoes to go with it. Dude, I kind of just want to wear those. I'm going to go try to make those in a second here. Just got to go around my ocean and pick up all the seashells on the seashore microphone could be a little closer to me that fish it's probably nothing special but I'm gonna try for it you never know it could be a red snapper Woo. bit quick oh, it's a puffer fish I don't know how much puffer fish are worth oh you know what this would actually be a really good spot for this shell speaker we can register KK disco No, there's one that's really good for the beach. And it's not that. It's KK Surf. KK Surf on the beach is the one you need. Where is it? I must be forgetting what the cover looks like. I thought it was like him surfing on a wave. KK Island would probably be pretty good for over here. Look at this one, KK Dirge. I should have given this one to Violet. Is today Saturday? What is today? Today's not Saturday, it's like Tuesday. It's Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. You need to get this one, Violet. I think you would like it. It's got a jack-o'-lantern, look. And it's like spooky sounding.
Alright, we're just gonna go with KK Island. I need to get it in the right spot. There we go. It's just a shell over here. Adds more furniture, because apparently need to decorate more. It's a speaker. Add some music for this little scene over at Boone's house. Alright, let's go make those boots. It's Fuchsia's house, I don't need to go. I don't need to go visit Fuchsia, even though she could be building something. I'm still going to look around for shells, though. On the way to my house. But my, I, we pretty much have to pass my house to search the rest of the beach. So I can stop there. Hey, look. It's Coco. Sorry for not getting up. I'm really comfortable here. She's literally blocking the path. That's just hilarious. Luckily, you can go around this way. Hey, Rebot wants to talk to me. I've got something for you. A wall-mounted candle. Oh, thanks. I didn't ask for that, but all right. I found a bunch of these when I was cleaning my house last night. I'm kind of superstitious about stuff like this, so enjoy. Hopefully they aren't haunted or anything. You can give me a haunted candle, Ribot. Is that what you just did? Hey, look, there's a fossil right there. Ooh, and a nice bug. We got Flick walking around, so I can sell that for a pretty penny. Give me it! Maya Mustang. Dig up this fossil. Oops. Missed. <clears throat> Luke is saying that I'm so glad you freakazoids, referring to Knight and Chris. He's so glad that they're on the other side of the U.S. <laughs> I always forget where Chris lives. I always want to say one of those weird states. Like, I just start yelling out, Vermont, Maryland. I'm not sure where. Okay, so what did I come in here to do? Oh, I actually, I could have built the boots outside, but that's okay. I need to store my boots out here anyway. Look at that. I can make the armor shoes. I wonder if it'll look any good. Where are they at? Here they are. <laughs> Armor shoes with my ripped jeans? What do you think? We could change the pants. Uh, here, let's look in the fridge, because that's where I keep my clothes. A refrigerator, should I change? <laughs> I love that prompt. Cracks me up every time. Get changed. Okay, so the pants. What if instead I had these on? See, I almost like that. Is that weird? Should I run around for a while and see if that's any good? <laughs> yeah, with the gold chain. What is this? Thieves costume? <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad at all right there. <laughs> Looking like a thief in, in boots with a monocle. The monocle cracks me up. I actually think I did like this. Oops. Aww. Shorts? No, I'm not wearing the shorts. I need to get rid of those. I don't even know why they're in there. Outdoor shorts? I can wear the pleather shorts? Yeah, it's going to look real good. Denim pants in the white. Okay, what was I actually looking at, though? I was going to wear these, and then... Oh, the tops. Dress up. I got a Power Ranger suit. I was going to wear this one. I thought that looked kind of good. I almost want to change the bag. I have a bag to match the undershirt, actually. And it's a bag that I really like, and I never really get a chance to use it. Here we are. Let's run around like that. I think I can dig this. I almost want to lose the monocle. I've been wearing it for a while. And I'm kind of sick of it, to be honest with you. I'm going to lose the monocle. I could wear aviators instead. Let's go check the fridge again. What's going on? Wear them for Violet, we know. She likes to look at your butt, man, in my shorts. Well, the only shorts I wear around her are swimming trunks, so I guess I don't blame her. It's dummy thick, can't help but slap it. Oh, Lord. So 
so I could wear an eye patch instead. And get some night vision goggles on. That looks nice, doesn't it? Did I take my beard off? Ah, oh, I took my beard off. No, put the beard back on. Do I not have? Apparently, I don't have aviators anymore. Did I just give them all away? I used to have them. What happened to the aviators I used to have? I'm a little upset. Is it bad? Is it bad that I kind of want to wear this eye patch? Now I almost feel like I should still wear the monocle. I don't have sunglasses to wear. Rest in peace, monocle. No, I'm putting it back on. Doesn't feel right having nothing. I don't know how I feel about wearing these armor boots. <laughs> I like them at the same time I don't. I wish I had the golden ones. Do I have anything I can leave in here? No, I'm taking all this stuff with me. Except for these tree branches. You know, I should have put the 30 away, but oh well. We put them all away. And what is this exactly? A wall-mounted candle? I'm just going to sell that. I don't need a wall-mounted candle. However, I can put the iron nuggets away as well as the visual punk boots. Which probably look better than these armor boots. Go Sam Fisher on them with the night vision goggles. <laughs> night Sam in there for stalking your ex at night. Alright. I don't know. I kind of like the boots. Not going to lie. I think this is a nice little change up for the time being. I don't typically wear white at all in this game. But you know, I got plenty of shirts that I've collected that I kind of like. I might as well try them out. And I like this bag a lot. I've been looking I've been looking for a black version of this bag for a while now, but I don't know if it exists. Lucas Sam Polo Sam Fisher, you won't. I don't have like a cool enough rest of the suit to wear with it. What am I gonna what am I gonna dress up in while wearing night vision goggles? I need like a Mission Impossible type outfit and I just don't have that. That's a pretty good sized fish right there. I'm gonna try to catch it. It's probably just a sea bass. But we can try. What do we got here? Yep, just a sea bass. Should have known don't you pretend like you don't stalk your ex at night? I don't. I don't have any exes, exes that I have any interest in. And that's how it should be. Most people only need one good relationship, because if you have a relationship that's truly good to its core, then it, it's not something that's going to come to an end, unless it's something like you were young and still lived with your families and moved away from one another or something like that. But um, those scenarios are rare. Oh, it bit once and I just went for it. I don't know why. Oh, that thing's going to commit some Dooku, man. Ha, I stopped it from doing so. I'll give it to Flick to get a nice good long life. Lady thinks I have too many trees on my islands. I don't appreciate hearing that crap, you know? Like, I try hard to make sure that the, the tree amount on my island is not crazy. That's a good amount of money we just got from those. It's 90,000 bells. Too many god dang trees. It's upsetting. I could just leave this like this. I'd feel weird not growing uh, money trees, though. I always gotta grow money trees. Yeah, see, there's these ones over here, too. I guess I could chop one of these down as well. This bad boy right here could go. Or, you know what? I actually want the other one to go. But now I moved the... Which one the money tree is, I accidentally changed. So here's what we're gonna do. I could have a stump right there, but eh, I don't want a stump right there. So we'll cut, we'll cut this one down. We'll dig a hole. Coco's just sitting around all over the place. And then I'm just gonna move the other money tree. Eat the coconut. You guys are so strange in this chat today, man. I don't even I don't even know how to combat in it. It seems so it seems so wild to have in an Animal Crossing stream, but whatever. 
Alrighty. Well, that was a big fish I just scared away. Did you see that? That river fish was huge. I scared a huge river fish away. I'm so upset right now. I wonder if there's more fossils around I've still yet to do, um, find today. There probably is. I wonder if it rained since the last time I played. Some of these seem a little bit overgrown. Like, I don't think these white lilies are supposed to be right here. Is that what they are? I think those are lilies. That's not a fossil. That's something buried there for a visitor to discover. And hopefully keep. I can't even remember what it is. It's been a while. <coughs> Look how BB wants nothing to do with the chat. <laughs> it's because you guys are wild today. It was fine. It was fine when I was playing, uh... When I was playing Fall Guys, it wasn't so lewd. So he never does. He's ashamed of you. A little bit. You guys start fighting. It's like, man, I'm trying to have it look friendly around here. I got everyone in the chat yelling cuss words at each other. And I'm up here being like, hey, I'm supposed to be family friendly. It's just the contrast is hard to control. I don't think I've created it. You can't say I've created it when it's your guys' messages and you're the ones creating the messages. So I don't, I don't think you can say I created it. Hostile takeover? Is this coming from a mod? Gonna have to take that away. Down with the hierarchy? I'll take you out of the hierarchy, Lucas. How about that? Oh, Chris is chiming in too. Chris wants, Chris, Chris wants to be gone out of the hierarchy too. Down with the hierarchy, they said. I can make it happen, if that's what you truly want. Just a couple of clicks. <laughs> Don't you worry, it's not that hard. No, 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 I definitely created it. Oh, you're right, I must dismantle it then, huh? There's another big river fish right there. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Alright, I have space for it in my inventory. I just wanted to double check. Here we go. My fat head was in the way, but I still heard it. What did we catch? Oh, it's another one of these. This is my second one. It's another Arapaima. I wonder how much this thing's worth. The first time I gave it to Blathers. Let's see, if I were to just give it to the drop botch, drop off box, which rips you off, it would be 8,000 in the drop box. So that's what, 10,000 overall? Lucas say I started this years ago. You've become what you were like during your Cuphead stream. But that was so many years ago. Why would you cling on to that still? <clears throat> I could stream those again sometime. I think people might get entertainment out of that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> You got this. Oh wait, some of the bugs. I I got all the bugs to flick. So never mind. The bugs are going to flick. Not you, Nooks. Eighteen thousand bells. What a rip. Oh well. All right. I think I got all of today's fossil fossils. Now you say, technically speaking, if you dismantle the hierarchy, you delete your channel. That's how a hierarchy works. Is any of this even real? Well, I'll take apart. I'll take apart the hierarchy while leaving myself. Lucas say you don't miss Cuphead, that was scary. Well I'll be less scary this time about it. I'm not that I'm not that person anymore. I don't even know how my neighbors didn't file sound complaints, man. Looking back on it, I have no idea how they didn't file sound complaints. Lucas say none of it's real. My entire live stream channel is actually just mind control and there is actual no streams. You just click here and stare into like a little spiral the whole time for hours and hours and hours say meow what is so dang funny meow oh man might be getting a little kitten soon i'm excited blathers is asleep i got some fossils for you blathers five of them hope you don't mind looking at these i want to sell them to the nooks because they pay me a pretty good amount for these fossils He's already got him, though. 
but that's okay. I really wish after you got all the fossils, it was like, wow, you got all fossils. You're a master expert at discovering fossils now. You can identify your own, and you don't have to go to Blathers anymore. But oh well. Something in the water right here. Could be another one of those turtles. Oh, it turned just as I cast my lure. Hoor. <laughs> just a catfish. Weak. Weak. All right, let's go uh, deposit my bells because I have a ton that I'm running around with, and I'd like to just, I'd like to just deposit those. You know what? Before we run off and do that, though, let me go see what the Able Sisters got. Which one of you is the real person? One of us is a real human. They put us here to suffer. You guys are going crazy. Night. You're gonna go boil more mushrooms. All right. Enjoy your dinner. Alrighty. It's sort of silly since I'm inside the shop all day, but sunny weather helps me helps me work faster. Or maybe it's just that I'm making shorter sleeves. Phil's in here looking at hats. It looks like. So this comes via someone of any aisle. Is that right? What? Someone of any aisle? Wow! Franchising your brand across multiple islands. A whole new world just opened up for me. Well, you didn't even consider branching out past the 15 people that you can encounter on this place. You got anything cool in here? I wear this. I kind of like that. Is that weird? I'm definitely going to get that. I could wear it with this instead. Be a hipster with a scarf. Wear that striped shirt like I think I'm the guy from Blue's Clues. You got knit hats. L.A. Isla. What does that say? I can't even understand all right we're buying that yes please and yeah i would like to wear it i think i like that more than the shirt that i had on yeah that looks better i like this i like this a lot actually i like the grays the black pants it looks good lucas says enjoy your dinner why was that comedic in any regard we're on to you bb why was that comedic? Because he obviously wasn't talking about eating dinner. So I just disregarded the whole second half of his message and just cut it off at, oh, I'm understanding that he's going to boil some mushrooms. Okay, what is he doing that for? It must be dinner. Enjoy your dinner. But he's not having dinner. Make me explain it. It's not funny. It's not even funny really in the first place. But I try, okay? At least there's an attempt. You want me to sit here like some of those other streamers? I can sit here and act as tired as I feel. Sit here just like. Dude, I can't. I'd fall asleep just already. Like, my eyes are getting heavy. Alright. So there's stuff I wanted to sell to Flick as well as off to the Nooks. And then there's stuff I need to put away in my house. And I can just... Oh, I didn't get myself a... What's it called? I didn't get myself a bug net. Dang it, I need one. There's bugs all over the place. There's Flick way back there. Oh, hey, remember me, Flick? The guy who loves bugs and all their skittery, chittery, sometimes glittery glory. I'm still looking for my soul bug, the one to be my artistic inspiration and lift me to ever more art? You're losing me a little bit, Flick. So if you ever find a bug, will you sell it to me? I could pay a little extra. No price is too high for my chitinous kindred. And that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh, and if you're um, interested in my art at all, just let me know. My condition, my commissions are open. I've got bug for you, Flick. Really? What kind? Check it out. I got multiples. Reading wheat, boys. Full house. A whole swarm? This is the best day ever. Okay, don't down flick. Ahem. Can I offer you, say, 5,100 bells for the bunch of them? Sell, sell. R really? Thank you. Nice. Got the bells. We're rolling in cash today, but it's just, it's just because I shook money trees. Where's that Brazilian dude when we need him? I'm sure he would love that joke breakdown. Yeah. Exactly. The dude who was trying to get me to tell him jokes. 
Tell me a joke. Like, what does he want to hear? Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> it's the answer to get to the other side. It's not even like a joke. How is that even a thing? I don't understand that. I got some bones for you to pick. As well as a fish. There you go. 25,000 bells. Nice. Not bad for just digging up a few holes. Alright, however, I really need a new bug net. I might have one in my house, but you got you got outdoorsy nets? Nice. Give me a couple of those bad boys. Yeah, another outdoorsy net looks interesting. Give me another one of those bad boys. Nope, that's it. I'm good. No, thank you guys for selling me this stuff. I'm gonna be on my way now. <clears throat> I'm happy that Flick's here. Because when Flick's here, I'm, I'm happy to catch, like, any bug. Oops. Playing like a scrub. Opening up my inventory to get my equipment. Need to be using the fast. Need to be using the quick select. There's another grasshopper hopping over here. Where'd it go? Oh. You hear that noise? Why does this thing sound so crazy? What kind of cicada is this? Evening cicada. I don't think I've caught an evening cicada before. A long locust around. Is that fish still in the water? Cool. That is a pretty good sized fish. I wonder what that is. Dang it. I'm selecting my items like a scrub again. There we go. Ooh, aggressive fish. What do we got here? Oh, it's just a black bass. Lame. Lucas, I should have just told him the chicken joke just to upset him. That's it for my fishing rod? Dang. It's gone. Alright, so I was going to drop one of my outdoorsy nets out here. Because then when one of them breaks, I can just have the other one outside ready to go. <clears throat> Emperor Butterfly sells for a decent amount. Happy to find that. I'm pretty sure I have another fishing rod inside my house. I need to go inside my house anyway to drop off these logs that I'm carrying. And I don't mean I'm going to use the toilet. Chris and Knight, do you eat them solo or are you pissy and need food? I've only ever eaten them solo. Alright. And then this outdoorsy net needs to go here. And then we need to check my storage for a fishing rod. Yep, we got plenty of fishing rods in here. I'll take just the regular one. Nice. We're all set. I could have taken another one, I guess, and plopped it outside. I probably should have. I could turn right back around and go in there. I'm gonna. Instead of walking away and regretting it. I hate that I have to go through the loading screen again, but oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. Can't be upset that Jack Me's not here. He was here for like the entire last live stream. <clears throat> that was some good juice. Where's that fishing rod at? Give me one of those. Let's go plop that bad boy in the backyard. So when my fishing yard breaks, I can just... Have another one ready to go. Didn't he say you were a horrible person? Homie really wanted a joke. Yeah, the Brazilian guy that came in here and demanded that I tell him a joke called me a terrible person because I did not tell him a joke. Because I, I told him that I didn't like him coming in here and saying, I am not going to subscribe to you or follow, sorry. I'm not going to follow you if you don't tell me a joke. That's when I got upset. Because I was, I was very polite to him when he first told me, hello. And I'm from Brazil, and I gave him I gave him a very polite greeting. And then he told me to tell a joke, and I was like, I don't know, I don't have any good jokes off the top of my head. And he's like, tell me a joke, or I'm not going to follow you. It's like, dude, get out of here. Tiger Butterfly is mine. We're getting more Nook Miles, I don't know what for. 
I'm actually gonna go right now and give this evening cicada to Blathers because knowing myself, I'm gonna forget about it and I'm gonna accidentally sell it off to Flick and then I'm gonna be mad. I don't wanna be mad. Sup, Blathers? B Lathers? I got a donation for you, homie. Check it out. It's your favorite type of thing. It's a big old bug. Eek, an evening cicada. What a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me, Blathers. Uh, I see. In that case, um, the evening cicada certainly knows how to ruin a quiet moment. As the sun sets, it strikes up a sad song so sonorous. One can't hear one's own thoughts. I'd feel sorry for its melancholy moods if only it weren't so very vocal about how it feels. Ugh, please pipe down. Any hoot, my sincerest thank you for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Might I help you with anything else? I'm fine, Blathers. That was it. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Alright, and that's that. He hit you up with a boo at one point. Yeah, no, he did boo me. He did boo me. I got even more agitated when he did that. Like, really, dude? I'm gonna be nice to you and you're gonna come up here in my stream and start booing me? Like, I don't even really care about that type of a thing, but it just feels rude, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm not fully offended by the boo itself. It's just... It's just, I don't know, man. Him coming in here, and I was so nice, and then he just started listing out demands and being such a jerk about the fact that I wasn't doing what he wanted me to do. It was just... It's just annoying, you know? I don't think I've gone to the cliffs towards the front of my town yet today. Oh, there's something on the tree right there. Is that just a... Oh, no, it's alive. It's moving around. I thought maybe it was the cicada exoskeleton. Horned Dynastid. I'd hate to hear it honk that schnoz. I don't think I've caught one of those before either. Apparently I haven't played during this time of day in August yet. Which is understandable because it's only like 8 o'clock, or it's only like the 8th of August or something, isn't it? Isn't the 8th? What is it today? Is it even the 8th yet? I can't see where my lure is at all. I really want to catch that fish from all the way up here, though. Oh, come on. That's good. That's good. Yeah, catch that fish from way up here. Nice. It's a tilapia, too. Or maybe tilapia. I can never remember. Oh, I forgot to put this fire here. That looks nice, man. I added quite a bit to my town, and still, she's like... People are saying that the town lacks appealing scenery. And it's like, dude, I've put up so much stuff. What do these lazy villagers do? That's why they all live in the slum. Because they don't do anything to help the town. They do not add to society at all. They just hang around. They're a bunch of hippies. It's basically, it's basically what the villagers are in this game. I'm over here working for a living. I'm like growing fruit trees and selling fruit, catching bugs. I got got a bunch of fishing that I'm doing on the side. On top of that, I'm just using the money that I make to decorate the place where we all live. What is that? Oh, it's a duck. I didn't recognize it as a duck right away. I was like, what the heck is that? Catch the common blue bottle. Call of Duty is only at roughly 80%. Dope. Oh, you're talking about your update? I see. Hey, let's go over here and chill next to Boone. What is he eating? A baguette? That's what it looks like. I wish you could talk to them while you were sitting here, you know? I don't know. Some of the bugs still aren't worth it. Pro the blue bottles probably aren't, honestly. Ooh, one of those swimming things, though. I'm surprised they didn't scare the fish off by catching the diving beetle right in front of it like that. Let's try to catch the fish. Why not? It's right there. Coco cracks me up. There she is sitting down again. It's like the third time I've seen her sitting down today, and I've only seen her three times. Come on, but, uh, fish. You can bite hard. Hey, it's another one of these. These don't sell for a bad amount of cash, I don't think. Pretty sure they're like 1500 each. And I don't know for sure. I should probably double-check the price of those. A lot of grasshoppers around. 
I can go for a couple of bug catches, why not? Summertime's fun with the amount of bugs that are around. God, that thing's really hopping around quick, isn't it? Rice grasshopper? I've been looking for a gluten-free alternative. I don't think I've ever caught a rice grasshopper before. I'm finding new bugs, man. Exciting stuff. Lucas, you're saying that Boone knows what's up? He does. I just, I really want to catch him inside of his house one of these days because I gave him some furniture and I want to see if he put it to use or not. Got some more Nook Miles for catching bugs. Don't mind if I do. Got 135,000, but you know, you can never have enough. That's not a bad looking skyline right there. My town's pretty. I like it. Coco takes life slow, baby. She don't rush. Yeah, well, I mean, have you seen her? She's kind of hollow on the inside, so... I don't think, uh... Oh, there's another one of those afternoon cicadas. It makes that high-pitched squeaky noise. I really want to catch that emperor that's flying around, though. Evening cicada. Is that what I said, or did I say afternoon? I think I said afternoon. That fish don't look bad. Let's go back and try to catch that fish after catching this. Emperor butterflies are worth quite a bit. It's a good-sized river fish. It might just be a bass, but we can try. Probably is just a bass. But like I said, we can try. Oh, sweet. It noticed it. Okay, and a bit. What do we got here? Yep, just a black bass. How's my inventory doing? I feel like I've been filling up awfully quick. Kind of was. There's another one of these evening cicadas. I need to see if they're worth it. Price-wise. price, wa price wise. I have a feeling they're not going to be, because I'm, he I'm hearing those things all over the place now. Another fish right in the spot. Dude, the, the, the fish and the bugs right now are spawning like crazy. I could just be catching these non-stop. Just another black bass, though. She got nothing to do and nowhere to be. Honestly, doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't want that permanently. I'd get bored. I think it's nice um, doing stuff and building towards things. Hey, Death Fox. Do you want to do a 2v2 in Super Smash Bros? No, I'm just going to be playing Animal Crossing for the next, like, 45 minutes here. And then I'm, I'm going to be calling it a night on live streaming. After that, I'm probably going to be playing some... I'm probably going to be playing some PS4 with a few people. But um, the game we're going to play only allows you to have four people in a party. So it's probably all going to be filled up. Alright, so I have donations for you, Blathers. <clears throat> oh, I just have one donation for you? I thought there was... Oh, I gave you that evening locust. I thought there was something else I caught. I guess not. It's just the rice grasshopper. Could have sworn there was more than that. Eek! <laughs> the voice. I did it all wrong. Eek! A rice grasshopper. What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me, Blathers. Ah, uh, I see. In that case, um, in point of fact, rice grasshoppers are an awful pest. They devour rice plants and wipe out the crucial crop. But revenge is sweet. These bugs are edible, you see, and so some folks eat them as a way to get rid of them. When boiled in soy sauce, rice grasshoppers are quite tasty, it's said. Though why would anybody want to put an insect in their mouth is beyond me. The mere thought gives me the gags. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will come to the best of care here. Might I help you with anything else? I'm fine, Blathers, that's it. Thank you so much for your information about the bugs. People eat them because they eat the rice. It's kind of funny. So, is it yes or no? Because your stream lag is bad. Oh, I'm kind of hurt. It's a no. I'm not doing the 2v2. If you want that flat out clear of an answer. Because I thought it was pretty obvious what I said the first time. I feel like every time I talk to you, I have to tell you things twice. What's wrong with the first time I said it, man? I explained myself and I gave you the answer. And then you asked for the answer again. It's just, it's, just a, it's just something that I've been noticing. 
I feel like I tell you, I feel like I repeat myself talking to you a lot. And it's like, man, I just wish you heard me the first time. All right. Got myself a long locust. I don't think they sell for all that much though. Let's go check this drop box and see what prices are kind of like. This this thing buys for a little bit less than what it's actually worth. But like these evening cicadas. Oh, not bad. That's probably like 500 for an evening cicada. That's worth grabbing. And how much is the tilapia? Okay, that's probably like 700 about, maybe 750 at most. That's that's okay. It's not as good as I thought. It was like half. Yeah, I'm surprised I had caught one of these horned dynastids before. I didn't think I did. All right, is Flick still up here? Kind of close to where he is. My inventory is getting full up, so I'd like to clear out all these bugs I have. Oh, I hear, I hear walking. Is he still back in the? Yep, there he is. He's still stuck back here in the orchard. Or, orchard. Doesn't matter how much I treasure the bugs, they'll never notice what I do for them. Oh, uh, sorry, lost my thoughts. Oh, I'm not doing the flick voice. Sorry, I forgot about the flick voice. I'm kind of out of it. <clears throat> Have you found any bugs yet? Because I'll buy any kind. Any kind. Oh, and if you want to come commission a piece of my art, just let me know. Okay, bye. I've got a bug to sell for you, Flick. Really? What kind? I've got a lot. Check it out. Check out all these bugs I've been nabbing on your behalf. Because I know you'll give me a pretty penny for all these bad boys. What you got, Flick? A whole swarm. This is the best day ever. Tone it down, Flick. I can say I can buy these for 20,265 bells. For the bunch of them? Sell, sell. R really? Thank you. Let me know if you catch any more. Got 198,000 bells from today. Let's go bank those. I'm gonna be getting more too. Luke, you say that Call of Duty is downloaded to 90% now. You're gonna be up like all night. Death Fox, say you're lagging badly. Sorry, you didn't mean to say your stream lag is bad. I'm sorry, so so sorry. It's okay, man. I just, I'm just saying. Like, I don't, I don't know exactly what it is, but I feel like talking to you a lot of times. I just gotta say things twice. And I just wanted, I just wanted to let you know that was something I noticed. I don't really want to like be too offensive with that either. I guess maybe I just shouldn't say anything. My apologies. You don't need to. You don't need to feel bad, man. I'm start. I'm starting to feel bad because of what I said. So don't feel bad because of what you said. Because oh, I'm starting to overthink the words that came out of my mouth, and I feel like I'm kind of a jerk. So, sorry. Sorry if I offended you. It's Sherb. Sherb's like my favorite villager. You buying stuff too? Uh, let's just talk, Sherb. I don't got anything for you. I want that and that and that. Man, my piggy bank's gonna starve if I keep this up. I'm not going to give you any money, even though I'm running around with 198,000 bells. And I still got fish I need to sell, and I was supposed to sell them while I was in there, and I didn't. So let's go turn back around, sell the freaking fish I have, and then we can go bank my bells. Gosh, I'm all out of order today. Whew. I'm out of breath, too. I want to sell. What am I selling? Here, I'll show you. Oh, I forgot to sell an evening cicada to... Uh, Oh, and I still have some long locusts and stuff, too? What in the world? There's bugs that I failed to give to my friend. 6,410 bells. Nice, that brings us to 205,000 bells that I've made today. Let's go... Let's go check out the Nook Shop. Or not Nook Shop. The, um... It's like the online shopping. Let's go check the online shop as well as... Bank whatever money we have. Death Fox saying, no, no, you're good. Oh, yeah. I'm glad, Death Fox. I'm glad we're all good. I don't want any, don't want any bad blood. Lucas say, ballin' bullet. Bam, bam. Oh, no, it says ballin', ballin' bullet. Bam, not bam, bam. My bad. I only got 50 Nook Miles because I missed going to this terminal yesterday. Let's check the Nook shopping. What do we got under special goods? Anything good? Eh, nope. Neapolitan? I don't think I have Neapolitan. Let's order that. Alright, and... Then I was going to deposit the rest of my money. How am I doing? I should have a lot of cash. Ooh, it's getting close. When I get to... When I get to 3.5 million, 
I'm gonna sell off my, or I'm gonna pay off my home loan. You know what? Let's just do it now. Let's just pay off the home loan now. Pay from savings. Two, four, nine, eight. We're giving them 2.5 million bells to finally pay off my entire home loan. Deathbox say that I'm the best streamer you know? Hey, thank you, man. I try, so I appreciate the compliments. I finally finished off paying my very last home loan. Let's go talk to Nook. Does he have anything to say to me about that? Nook. Nook. Well, hello there, Bullet. My goodness, you've done it. You've paid off your home. Renovation loan in full. Again. As far as of this moment, you're debt-free and set for life in an amazing, spacious island home. Yes, yes. I know you're just waiting for me to offer you another expansion, but we've reached the end of that. But I have something else for you. For free, of course. Nook, Eek, Nook Inc. guarantees our work for life. And as a small token of our appreciation, we are proud to offer you a lifetime of free exterior renovations. Limit one per day. Terms and conditions apply. Yes, yes, I'm legally required to say that. I hope Nook Inc. can still be of service to you for years to come. And once again, congratulations. Okay, so let's let's talk home re and renovations then, Nook. About my home. I want to customize my home. So let's see. I, I like the way my house looks, but maybe you have something maybe you have something that I like that I overlooked. I've got a black stone roof. I could have curved shingles. I could have different colored curved shingles. I think I like having the black roof the most though. Red stones. Oh, it's a lot. That's a lot. I can even have black thatch. It's interesting. Oh, it's like I'm living in Rohan. What is this? I think I like the I think I like the black stone that I have the most. And I got black stucco. I could change that. The red stucco is awfully bright. The gray kind of looks green. The white is a lot. The cobblestone's kind of cool. I could have more of like a castle looking house. The red and black. I don't know. The red's so it's such a deep red. That's what I really don't like about that. I almost don't mind this brown. Ooh, that's kind of nice. This one's nice too. I like that. I want to change the door though. That red door I don't like anymore. Having this exterior like that, I think that's the one I'm going to go with. This one I like as well. It's too much with that red. I think I'm going to change my house to look like that. And then, yeah, we got to pick a door that I don't want something that's such, such a bright red. I could have a white door like that. That's not bad. Is there a black version of this door? Oh, that's purple. That's brown. Iron door. I kind of like that. The iron door on that. I don't know why. I wouldn't think that I would. Could have it be gray instead? No. I wouldn't want it to be gray. The rustic door doesn't look bad, even in white. We could have a black rustic door. I think I like that the most. That looks homey. That one matches the house pretty well, but I think I'm still sticking with my gut. I would just go with a simple door. If there isn't a black simple door, it doesn't look like. We're going with the black rustic door, that's the one I want. And the mailbox, I've had I've had this chic wooden mailbox for ever, and I think that's the one I'm gonna stick with. Yep, I like that brown though do I want it to just be brown like that I could have a white one make it match the house I think I'll do that why not you know so my house will look like that after tomorrow say so look at Isabel staring at the window geez lacking to stay the least yeah, she doesn't do a lot of work, and she just tells me she just tells me the things that, that are wrong with my town. She doesn't do anything to help change it. She's just like, people said this and that and that. Yeah, we talked a lot of smack. <clears throat> oh, 
<clears throat> Alrighty. I got a couple of flowers I want to plant, don't I? Oh, I actually planted them already. Nice. I'm glad. Alright. So the area in my town I typically like to run around in. I don't want to catch that fish. Eh, I will. Eh. Could be something good. It's, I don't think it's a bass. It's probably going to be a carp watch. A bunch of ants that I just made there. Eh, eh, eh. That's what I just did. Thinking about this fish. Bit instantly. What do we got? Oh, it's just a dace. Yeah, nothing good. Should have walked right past it. Oh well. So what I typically do is I kind of walk a circle around the part of the island that I'm on right now. You go past plenty of trees so you get chances to catch bugs like this. There's even some flowers planted around. But it's mostly ocean shoreline so I can search for ocean fish the whole time. Sharks and whatnot. I think some of the most prized things in this game come from the ocean. Then again, prized things come from all over in this game. I haven't done any diving yet today, but I don't find diving to be all that exciting, so I don't typically do a lot of it. Problem is with what I'm doing is I don't get like any fish doing or I don't get like any bugs doing this. And I don't know, with Flick here. I kind of want to prioritize catching bugs right now because he'll buy them for an added amount. Gonzo, what you thinking about? Hey, so this is kind of hard for me to say, but I noticed that people around here call you boss, and I want to call you that too. What do you say? Yeah, call me boss, Gonzo! I'm the leader of the bunch! I can't wait to start calling you boss. Boss? Mate? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I thought you were going to call me boss. Now you're still calling me mate? This is very confusing. Oh yeah, the music over here. I want, I want other music playing. I'm telling you, I have something called Surfin' KK. Where is that one? Where is Surfin' KK? There it is. This is the one. This is the one for being on the ocean. That's Boone's house, by the way. The one that's all decorated up like that. Let's see if Fuchsia is doing anything of interest. Hopefully she's building something and I can get a new DIY recipe. Aw, she's not building. What are you doing? Sup, Bullet? Glad you swung by, precious. What's the latest? Hey, I'm trying to be more neighborly and get to know folks better, and I want to know about you. That cool? Alright, uh, what should I ask you about? Oh, hey, I know, Precious. What's your dream job? Let's see, there's musician, athlete, CEO, something else. What do you want to be in the future? We're going to put... Live... Streamer. Yeah. Live streamer, eh? Yeah. Okay, now that is an awesome dream. Live streamer? Wow. You gotta tell me how I can help. Whatever it takes, I'm in. Yeah, just, I don't know, be really entertaining, Fuchsia. Luke is saying, Isabel does not work. She just stares out the window and quietly makes fun of your decor. Yeah, that is all she does. Hey, whose house is this? I can't remember. Is this Phil? Yeah, it's Phil's house. How could I forget? Everybody's returning to their house, apparently. I like having them all in one spot. It's the neighborhood. Phil is asleep in his own house. Let's let's not disturb him. He can just not even know that I witnessed him there. He's just sitting there with his door completely unlocked, and he is dead asleep. I wrote about Nan. What are you doing in your house today, Nan? Walking around. I hoped you'd stop by, kid. I want chat. I just love the effortless look of your gingham picnic shirt. I didn't mean to imply you put no effort into your style, kid. You just wear the basics well. Yeah, with the iron boots on as well. I know I look good. Thank you, Nan. I appreciate the reassurance. However, you have a blender on your oven, and I, it's like on the stove top. She put a blender. I don't know. It's a little concerning. Anybody else hanging out in their homes? 
We got, um, I think this is Flora. Pretty sure this is Flora's house. Yep, called it. And she's building something. What you doing there, Flora? Are you talking to me? Sorry, I was way in the DIY zone, Pinky. What you up to? Well, I'm making a cherry hat. I dreamt the idea while I fell asleep watching Mag the Lev's in Love. It's about trains in love. One of them, hang on, not important. It doesn't matter if Mag Lev Mike took their relationship off the rails. Because I'm building a thing. Hey, Bullet, do you want to know how to make a cherry hat too? Yes, please. I'm going to be the first pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru, so write down all my recipes. Here you go. Oh my gosh, Pinky. It's so way easy. You'll slap one together in no time, Bullet. I kind of want to see what it looks like before I decide if I'm going to make one or not. Oh, did I not learn it? Teach it myself? That's right. I have to read it first. Uh, and also we got Nook Miles. What did I get Nook Miles for doing? Island Togetherness. One of the goals of Nook Inc. is resident togetherness. Our gregarious greetings initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. Oh, I talked to all I talked to all of my neighbors today? That's the only the tenth time out of all of me play out of all the time I've spent playing this game, that's only the tenth time I've ever talked to all of my neighbors in one day. Kinda sad. Also my Critterpedia, there's new stuff going off in. The rice grasshopper and the evening cicada. This is starting to get really filled up, dude. I made a lot of progress in catching bugs. Alright, so if I open up my inventory and I read the cherry hat, I learned a DIY recipe for a cherry hat. Then we can check to see what it looks like. Where is it? Where's the cherry hat? Show me it. Oh my god, look how hideous this is. Oh my god. What? <laughs> <laughs> Flora, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Flora, but what is that? Why are you making that? All right, and then this is Sherb. I'll talk to Sherb, but first first I'm going to catch this fish. Probably just going to be a bass. It's always bass. Oh, it noticed. It's taking the bait. Hasn't bit down yet, though. Still not gone. I'm getting antsy. There we go. I caught the fish. What do we have? Yep, it's just a bass. How did I know? Entering Sherb's house. I don't know how I feel about coming in here. Sherb's kind of nasty. Thanks for dropping by, boss. What's the latest? That Jinjin picnic shirt looks good. How long have you worn it today? Anything I wear looks like a napkin after a couple of hours. Well, I've only been wearing it for, like, I don't know, 45 minutes. So, hasn't even been a couple hours yet. Yeah, see you later there, Sherb. Luke, you say that is one ugly hat. I know, that cherry hat? That thing is bad looking. Alright, there we go. We dropped by the neighborhood and talked with all my neighbors. Some new flowers grew over here. These black roses were not like that. And then there's orange flowers over here that grew. I could leave those like that, though. That kind of looks nice. I'll just leave those like that. Not too worried about it. I know there's an empty spot over here where I removed some flowers. So I'm just going to replant them. You know what? I don't think I actually want them there. Let's have some flowers right here on this ledge. Let's catch that fish before I scare it away. Because that's a good-sized river fish right there. What do we got? Be not a bass. Ah, it's just a bass. God dang it, man. It's a shame. I thought that would be something better than that. Hold the shovel. Plant the roses. I actually didn't need to dig a hole to do that, come to think of it. But oh well, I did anyway. Ribot's just chilling. Do I have anything I could give Ribot? Eh, nothing that would be any good. Dig up a clam. Give me you, you stupid clam. There we go. <laughs> oh, I could kind of see how I thought it was a rabbit. And you just missed the eyeball. You think the eyeballs are ears? Then it might look like a rabbit. I haven't seen one balloon going by today. 
Not one. Hey, there's a pond skater. I'm pretty sure I've caught one of those before. But I'll catch it just in case. <laughs> Can you do a pond ollie? I love that little subtext. Coco walking around. For a short while there, we had a crazy amount of bugs and fish spawning. Now the amount has definitely gone down a little bit. Ooh, cast a little bit too far with that one. Okay, that should be good. Nope. This is tough. There we go. If that's not it, I'm going to be very upset. What kind of little fish did we catch? Oh, I've caught one of these before. Freshwater goby. Yeah, those have been around for a while now. Hanging out in the rivers. Let's catch this guy swimming back and forth here. I'm going to scare off this dung beetle because it's not worth catching. I'd rather get other bugs to be spawning in than him. Grasshopper really isn't worth it either, but it landed right in front of me. Half did it more out of reaction than anything else. Oh, you know what? I needed some of those. I needed a black rose over here, and I planted it elsewhere. That's fine, though. Do I have 10,000 bells on me? I don't. Alright, so I need to get up to 9,000 bells again. And then I'll dig up another 1,000 out of the ground to make 10,000, and I can start growing another money tree. Dang, I don't know if I can get that fish from here. It's close, but... Not without moving this frying pan, I don't think. I might be able to do it now that I moved the frying pan. Oh, it's right there. But it's just not enough, I don't think. This this frying pan's going to be a pain in the butt to put back. How much you want to bet? The way I had it, exactly. There's no room to put anything here when there definitely is. Alright, yeah, this is turning out to be not worth my time at all. Okay, I had it like that. And then we had... The campfire. Turn the campfire on. There we go. Alright, so if I'm over here, I should be able to catch that fish. Is it gone? I don't even see it anymore. Oh, there it is, and it noticed the lure. We caught it. Have I caught one of these before? What is that? A sweet fish? Hope it's not artificially sweet? I don't think I've caught a sweet fish before. Oh, I have. It's not in the Critterpedia. Dang, like it's not saying that there's anything new in my Critterpedia. So it was in the Critterpedia. Upsetting. Is that it right here? What is that? No, it's killifish. Sweet fish. I don't see it at all. Where is that at? You see it in here? Something that looks like that sweet fish I just caught. I don't see anything like that sweet fish I just caught. Is it this? Oh, it's this one. Sweet fish. I haven't given it to Blathers, though. See that? There's no there's no owl symbol next to it, so I need to give that to Blathers. It's got to be, like, one of the only fish that I've caught that have not been given to Blathers. Because I try to give every single thing to Blathers. So far, it's the only one that I have that hasn't gone to blathers. Colcanth? I never gave a Colcanth to blathers? I have one in my house, I think. I have it in my house instead of giving it to blathers. I kind of want to give it to blathers. Instead of just leaving it locked up in my house. Because when do you think I'll catch another one of those? I'll leave it in my house for now. I'll give it to Blathers some other day. Hey, a paper kite butterfly. It's worth a thousand bells. And selling it to... Selling it to, um... What's his name? Flick. He'll buy it for even more than a thousand bells. Oh, there's a sneaky fossil hidden back there. I'm gonna catch this blue bottle. That's fluttering around as well. So yeah, I think six fossils spawn on your island every day, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we can just keep catching bugs, why not? Doesn't even matter if they're a stinking dung beetle. 
Oh, I scared something off. But this bug that's crawling right here, that thing's worth 2,000 bells. This tiger beetle? At least I'm pretty sure they're 2,000 bells. I can hear an evening cicada. Those are 500 bells for evening cicadas. But it's in my orchard. Okay, it's on the outskirts of my orchard though, and I accidentally pressed the wrong button and scared it off. I meant to heat I meant to hit the sneak button. If a giant water bug were to manifest before me, how would I react? Laughter? Weeping? Oh, uh sorry, lost in my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Because I'll buy any bug, any kind. Alright, yeah, I've got bugs for you, Flick. <clears throat> you said something about a oh, this is a diving beetle, not a giant water bug. Dang. Thought I had a giant water bug on me for a second, but I don't. Here you go. Here's the here's the bugs I have on me at this moment. 8,370 bells. Ooh, we, we almost have enough to make that money tree. Make that money, money, money tree. Alright, yeah, I'll let you know if I catch more. I don't know. I'm thinking of getting rid of the orchard as I know it. I could, I could still have, like, a lot of trees up there, but... I think I would, I think I would fence off the area, have some trees, and then have like an enclosure, you know? It'd be kind of interesting. I think I might thin out the orchard, because I don't really, I don't really use the trees for making money anymore. I used to have all these, um, I used to have all these fruit trees, and I maxed out the, oh nice, a koi. I maxed out the amount of fruit trees that I have so that um, I could make a ton of money picking them. But I don't really make money picking them anymore because it got really, really boring. I picked so much fruit. I did it as such a chore. Did a bunch of tr time traveling back and forth three days to make the fruit spawn over and over again without me actually moving forward in time. Um, so I did so much fruit picking. I made millions of bells picking fruit, and it took forever. I grinded away like crazy. I just, I have no interest in picking fruit anymore. Even though I still have all the fruit trees. But they served me well. I'm happy they're there. Once upon a time, they served me very well. Alright, I got a, I got a fossil for you, Blathers. Yes, yes. It's a very nice fossil, isn't it? It's a trilobite. Wow. <clears throat> Alright, I have a donation for you, Blathers. Yeah, I got this I got this sweet fish. I've caught one before, but I forgot to give it to you apparently. Hoo woohoo! This is undoubtedly a sweet fish. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sweet fish? Yes, please tell me, Blathers. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Sweet fish are the damp heralds of summer. These slippery fellows appear in numbers when it warms up. They hatch in a river, then swim to the ocean. Once mature, they return to the river where they were born. But when they return depends on the river temperature. If it's too cold, their fishing season will start later. Some, some even say summer can't start without sweet fish, despite the key role played by the Earth's axial tilt. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Might I help you with anything else? Nope, that was it, Blathers. Thank you very much for all your assistance. You're a great man. Alright, I'm gonna sell this stuff off to Nook, and then I'm gonna plant that money tree, and I'm gonna move the money tree to a better location for it to grow in, and then that's gonna be that. I had fun. I'd like to sell, Timmy. What would I, what would I offer? I got plenty of stuff for you. Here, you can even have this coconut. Why not? You know what I'm saying? All that stuff for you. What are you going to give me for that? 8,490 bells. All right, don't mind if I do. Sounds like a decent trade. Thanks for all that. I'll be on my way now. Running along. Money tree was up over here. Whoa, scared a bug away. Get the shovel out. 
Get a 10,000 bell stack going. Hooray, I dug up a thousand bells. Now we can bury 10,000. Let's take the entire tree. I don't need to bury the whole. I like my little look that I got going in Animal Crossing right now. Oh, that was a big fish I just scared away in the river. It wasn't huge, but it was a good size one. It's 2,000 bell bug crawling around right up here. Trying to sneak up on it, but the son of a gun's quick. There we go. I got it. 2,000 more bells for me right there. Don't mind if I do. Okay. So I was going to plant the money tree over here to let it grow. There it goes. And I'm going to call it a stream, guys. It's my second one of the day, and I know it was only like an hour and 15 minutes long, but I'm feeling tired, man. I don't want to keep talking into the microphone, so... I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching this live stream. If you're not following me already, please do try to live stream every single day and I almost make it. I guarantee at least five days out of every week I will be live streaming. Join the Discord as well if you're not a part of that. There's a link in the panels below. I send out notifications every time I start live streaming within the Discord and I also will let you know ahead of time if I'm not going to be live streaming for a day. That all happens in the Discord. Links in the panel below. All right. Bye-bye.